Hello everybody, my name is Weary31 and Nifty Gamer, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Unfortunately, uh, I've already recorded part 3 and part 4 of this Let's Play on the PC version, and my OBS once again crashed, but uh, this has been some pre-recorded footage that I am dubbing over. Um, not all of that Let's Play, but I just recorded it there now, and I'm about to go re record part 3 on the Xbox instead to try and make up for this. I'm sorry that I had to do this again. But anyway, I was showing you there that we have in fact got both of our Chow, one called Muffin and one with still no name, but thankfully my friend Alex, also known as Oculus, came up with quite a good name for uh, this particular Chow, so I'm going to go ahead and go and name that now. So I'm in the fortune telling house, and the Chow's lucky name, blah blah blah, is Dingy which is pretty close to what I'm going to be nicknaming it. Well, technically no, but you'll understand in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and start nicknaming it. W. I. S. H. E. S. Wishes is the name of this chow. And Wishes is the uh, OC pony name of my friend uh, Dinky, which is why it's close to Dingy. Uh, my friend Dinky, her, that's just a nickname, but... Uh, that is her OC's uh, name, and she is a really good friend of mine. We talk a lot on Skype, and she's in my uh, MLP fan series. So there we go. Wishes and Muffin. So uh, I hope you like being named after the Chow Dinky. I hope uh, you like it. And you're the hero Chow, and my friend Matthew is named after the dark Chow, which is Muffin. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching this little bit introduction, I suppose. And let's get back into the actual Let's Play. The moon is gone? Eggman! Oh, that creep never gives up! But how did he manage to harness all that energy? It's got to be the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, that's the reason they were looking for him! Tails? The Chaos Emeralds are like magic! They have the power to attract each other! I can use that to find where Eggman is! <laughs> You try and find a way out of here. Find Eggman. Got it! The three of you? That is me too! Hey, wait! Hello everybody, my name is Weady31 the Nifty Gamer, and that's a double intro for you. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle! I'm back on the Xbox 360 version because, like I said in the little opening sequence, I kind of had a little bit of a... Well, I, I, it wasn't even my fault. OBS once again crashed while recording Sonic, and I don't know why. Um, this time I did a full 40 minute recording to record two episodes of it, and it crashed after those 40 minutes, as opposed to the uh, second part of the video, which, you know, crashed after only 10 or 11 minutes or so. So, unfortunately, we're back on the Xbox 360 version. I'm going to record both parts that uh, I'm unable to re-record on PC. Right here, you would earn the uh, hover jet. I don't know what it's specifically called, but it's this little thing that whenever you jump and press A, uh, you do a little bit of a hover, which is kind of nice. Oh, well, and highly recommended as well to like get you from A to B. I, I don't know, like ha pretty much all the power-ups you get in this game are like uh, necessary anyway, so, yeah, you know. What am I talking about being highly recommended and all that? But uh, you guys might have picked up on it already, but there is no face cam at the moment uh, for this episode, or the, there will be no face cam for the next episode either. I do apologize uh, that my beautiful face can't be there. Uh, oh yes, it's so beautiful, so well, much, much pretty. But uh, I'm just not in a state right now that I can record face cam, uh, so. Unfortunately, there's no face count for this video or part four. Maybe part five, uh, which brings me on to my next topic. Part five, I'm going to record on PC again. And if that recording fails, then I'm going to officially swap over and do this. Uh, listen to the rest of the Let's Play on. Oh shit! I'm going to do the rest of the Let's Play on Xbox 360. I'm going to make a new save file and catch up to where we're supposed to be. And I'll get two Chow, which I will rename. Muffin and Wishes on the Xbox version instead. 
because I can't have uh, a Let's Play that's meant to be a PC version that's just going to keep on jumping back to this just because... Uh, well, uh, excuse me, let me get on the box. I can't have a Let's Play that is uh, meant to be for PC version and I just keep on jumping back here because the, the uh, recordings break. I don't know why OBS doesn't work, I mean, it's only had one other uh, balls up and that was when I was recording Amnesia The Dark Descent. Uh, if you guys don't watch my Amnesia Let's Play, basically what happened in it in halfway through the recording of a, halfway through, like about 15 minutes in of a 30 minute recording, uh, the audio loops back to the start for some reason, uh, but the video was fine, whereas uh, while I'm playing this game, uh, OBS just entirely crashes altogether, and I have no idea why. I'm kind of repeating myself at this point, but I'm just trying to, like, I, I really don't understand it, but, like, it pops up saying something about my video card or something, or just something. And yeah, then it just crashes. The game still is still playable, but I end up back on the desktop. Uh, OBS has stopped recording, and whatever footage it had already recorded is corrupted and doesn't work, which is really really annoying. So I can't even overdub the old footage. Uh, oh well, all the footage up until it crashes. Uh, with or well, yeah, I can't even just do a let's play of, of the prior footage because it just doesn't work. I don't know why I said I was going to overdub it, I guess I just thought to myself that with cor with corrupted footage I would need to redub my microphone, but I record my microphone separately, so I wouldn't need to do that anyway. But anyway, we're almost at to the end of this stage here, uh, I've rambled on for quite a bit, uh, just summing everything up. Unfortunately, this episode and next episode I will have no face cam and it will both be on Xbox 360 version and part 5 will hopefully be back on PC version to continue us where we're supposed to be. And if it's not because it crashes again, I'm going to officially swap over to an Xbox 360 playthrough instead. And I will start a brand new save file rather than continuing this one, because there's no point doing a, a let's play of a fully completed file. I didn't expect the inside of the mines to be like this. This is going to be tougher than I thought. Alright, Aquatic Mine. This uh, this level gave me kind of a bit of trouble on the PC version. It's been a long time since I played Sonic Adventure 2 the whole way through, but ah uh, well. Anyway, so this is a primarily underwater level. There, There's an interesting mechanic here which has probably been seen before in... Uh, I can't even remember what Sonic game or what game in general. But um, yeah, there are three switches in this map that alter the level of water. And right now it's on the first setting, which has the maximum amount of water, and I'm not going to bother changing that. Uh, I don't know where I'm going, just as a heads up, because once again I'm trying to do this completely blind. Yeah, which I just got knocked out. Um, not exactly bottomless, I mean I just hit the bottom. Alright, well... Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do in terms of finding this first piece. Maybe it must be up top. But there is a... well, I was gonna say there's a item for Knuckles in this level, but uh, there's an item for every character in every level. But the item in this level is a, an air necklace bracelet... no, 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 not bracelet, an air necklace, and that lets Knuckles breathe underwater. I never found this whenever I originally played this game on the uh, GameCube, which I wish I did because it would have made the final mission uh, so, well, not the final mission, one of the final missions, like, so much easier. So here's switch number three, which puts the water level as far down as it'll possibly go. And here is switches number one and two. My radar has not gone off once this entire time we've been here. Oh, uh, oh, okay, there we go. I should also just say, while it's, uh, well, I just remember, oh, there it is. Well, I just remember that, uh, the reason there's cuts between the loading screens when I'm doing Xbox version is because loading times for the consoles are much longer than PC. So I'm just going to cut them to save as much time as I can, because if you guys aren't aware, my upload time is horrible. It takes me about 7 hours to upload a 30 minute video, and you know, you could just say, well, why not do less, uh, not less, uh, why not just do shorter videos? Well, I don't want to, oh, well, that was convenient, oh, and this next item is around here. Um, I will probably find this next piece, and... Okay, I'll probably find this next piece, and I'll tell you what, I will come back to this level 
and I will cut into the part where you find the air necklace just so people who have never played this game can find it, or people who have played this game but don't know about it can find it. So there we go, there's that level complete, faster than I was actually, faster than the PC Let's Play, I'll say that. But I got really lost on that one. Because A rank. Yeah, this is perfect. Because yeah, you just, the third piece of the emerald was stuck. So what you want to do is activate switch number three up at the top, like I showed you uh, in the uh, actual playthrough of this level, and then jump down uh, that. I don't know, you know what you'd call that, but just jump down here and just kind of follow along here without the air, air necklace already. You'll kind of, you know, you might panic a little bit going through this area because about here you'll start running out of air, but you just gotta hold down A and keep on pressing it over and over again to jump all the way up here. You will end up getting into this little room where right here you will get the air necklace. Sheesh, there always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Knuckles! Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the master emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckles! I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the President in the government computer. I'm following the President's limo right now! If we get into the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there! And here we have kart racing. Yep, kart racing. Before Sonic, uh, no, what was oh, what's the game called? Sonic Transformed or Sonic All Stars Racing? Um, there was this. Well, I suppose first there was Sonic Drift, but well, now there's this in an actual main series Sonic game. <laughs> so you gotta drive a really awkward vehicle uh, <laughs> to find the president, and. Um, I must say, just while it's on my mind, like from that last cutscene, I've been meaning to bring this up, but I always forget by the time a cutscene comes around, since I don't talk over them. But um, I like how in the adventure games, the uh, characters have like items on them that you earn like through the levels. Like you could see there, like Knuckles had his gloves and he had a pair of sunglasses, which we technically shouldn't have yet at this point in the game. But remember, this is a completed file uh, at the moment, which when it, hopefully we won't need to keep on playing. Uh, that the PC version will just hopefully work. And if not, well then we're gonna go and make a new file on the Xbox anyway, so it won't really matter. But yes, anyway, like I was saying, so yes, uh, kart racing is in this game, in a sense. There is a kart racing like mini game that you unlock after playing this level, which you won't see from this Let's Play, unfortunately, because, uh, well, completed file, I have to keep on saying, but yeah. So these controls are really, really mm, awful. You collect 20 rings or so. I believe it's every 20 wing rings, but I could swear that sometimes whenever I collect 20, uh, once I start getting like a high amount of rings, it takes more and more to, to make it happen. But every 20 rings or so, uh, you get a boost when you press. So you, when you press Y, it actually gets a boost. Um, you can see that the uh, the actual driving itself, as you can see, left and right, is really unresponsive. Well, not really unresponsive. Just it just kind of really understeers. To get it to drift like I've been doing there, uh, what I tend to do is let go of the A button real quickly and then press it again. And that just kind of like lets it drift, but you also have to like turn at the same time. And it gives it this really nice, uh, really nice drift that you keep, you seem to maintain a good amount of speed. And you can drift all around the place. And it's good for getting around tight corners, which is very necessary in later missions. Like, look at that, look how much better that is. And with that, we have pretty much reached the present. He's just up ahead. We just gotta wait until uh, we catch up. So just, just bear with us. We're almost there. I love how that there's like no regard for the safety of people on this road. Yeah. 
I mean, you just smack into vehicles left, right, and knock them off this very long bridge to a city that never seems to get any closer. And this mission's all about getting it in the best time, so it's pretty easy to get A rank. The uh, other four missions are a bit more difficult, however. Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Eggman? <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall we, Mr. President? I won't bore you with all the details since I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! What the? <laughs> Sonic! Man and you! Life. Yeah, right. What the heck's going on here? Don't oh, worry, no. Mr. President. What did you Everything's do? under control. Just leave it to us. Got it, Tails? I got it! He's transmitting from the space colony R. Okay, let's move it! Wait up, Sonic! Hey, you! Wait. Mr. President, we're receiving an incoming signal from our agent. Inside that pyramid? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside with him as well. But you saw them too, right? Well, yeah. You should be able to get into outer space from there. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that cannon and then kick their Imperial butts. All right. I'll go and find the entrance. Hey, you know what you mean? My voice is pretty crazy, too. I'm thinking about changing it. 